Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October the 5th of 2020. Well, it is titled NGC 5643 nearby spiral galaxy from Hubble. So what do we see here? Well, this is an example of a spiral galaxy known by the catalog designation of NGC 5643. And it is also known as M106. And it is an example of a relatively nearby spiral galaxy only about 55 million light years away. And while that may be may seem tremendous, that is actually relatively close in terms of galaxies in terms of galaxies when we start talking easily of many billions of light years away. So when we look at this galaxy about the size of our own Milky Way about 100,000 light years across, it is an example of what we call a Seifert galaxy and Seifert galaxies are spiral galaxies with unusually active centers. So the central portion is unusually active, meaning that there's something going on there. And we believe that has to do with a supermassive black hole at the center, which would then accrete matter and as matter spirals into the black hole, it can be heated to extremely high temperatures and give off radiation. Now remember, once you cross the event horizon of a black hole, we can't get any information or energy out. But until you cross that point, energy is still able to be gotten from material as it spirals into the black hole. So that's one of the ways we can directly, indirectly see a black hole. Now here as we see this we can see the distinct properties of a spiral galaxy. Uh, we can see the spiral arms twirling out from the core and the dark dust lane scattered through the spiral arms and you'll also notice the very distinct blue color of the spiral arms showing that there is relatively recent star formation there. And in fact, some of those we see as star forming regions, the blue and some of the pinker areas are much like our own Orion Nebula that we looked at yesterday, except on a much grander scale in many cases. Some of the ones that we're seeing from this distance would be tremendous compared to the Orion Nebula. Now we also see a number of foreground stars which are stars within our Milky Way and you can easily pick out five or five bright five or six bright ones that are there and you can see the distinct spiked patterns going through them. And as you look closer at some of the other objects you can kind of tell whether they are a star within our Milky Way or if they are something associated with this galaxy itself by looking for that pattern. That pattern distinguishes a star as being a point source of light. And that means that's why we get that kind of pattern from it whereas an extended object like some of the nebulae here or just that blue glow which are not individual stars but actually groupings of stars there do not look the same. So some of those objects are much much closer than the 55 million light years that we see for the galaxy itself. So that was our picture of the day for October the 5th of 2020. It was titled NGC 5643 nearby spiral galaxy from Hubble. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Big Mars. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.